Anita Sarkeesian. You know what I see when I watch her videos? I'll tell you what I see. I see somebody that has a very particular set of beliefs that they don't actually believe in, but see a very commercial value in giving people the impression they believe in them. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that I think she's an absolute charlatan who doesn't for even one second buy any of the shit that spouts forth from her mouth, but she realizes that a whole bunch of other people are that stupid and sinks to their level intentionally to be a figurehead for a movement she probably doesn't actually believe in because it's very, very lucrative to run a blog and sell books and get ad revenue on YouTube from spouting these ridiculously one-sided and one-dimensional beliefs to other people that won't bother to look outside this particular box and formulate an argument of their own. And that's the unfortunate problem I see with a lot of today's generation. It's always the figurehead and then the thousands of people that don't really want to look any other way. They just want to believe whatever the talking head's trying to say. You see what I mean by this? That's my main problem with people like Anita Sarkeesian or anybody else that runs on her blog. It's just... Ugh. I, I can't... When it comes to things like modern feminism, when it comes to things like Tumblr activism, there's just so many problems with it that I can't take it seriously. I can't. When almost every single person that gets, I guess, carried upon everybody else's shoulders as a figurehead for the movement of social justice turns out to be just a complete psychotic that doesn't have any ideas that could possibly benefit society it's making me wonder and it's had me wondering for a while now are these people really in it because they want the world to be a better place for other people or do they want the world to be a better place for themselves you see, places like Tumblr and YouTube, from the right hands, can be a nexus for somebody that's just completely self-interested. Say you want to create the business of making fake charities and give people the impression you give a shit about other people besides yourself. You can rake in thousands of thousands and thousands of dollars, if not in some cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let's look at Smosh when they wanted to get $250,000 in donation for a video game they were going to make for these dinky little phones here. Now, right off the bat, myself and other ranters like the Archfiend caught this as bullshit very quickly because it's impossible to figure how $250,000 worth of video game development can be dumped into an Android game and we're still scratching our heads as to where's this video game when it comes to people that want to rip you off because you fully believe in what they're doing places like this can be heaven so let's bring this back to the start Anita Sarkeesian what do I see a total fucking scammer anyway I'm some guy on the internet and I hope you appreciate the new more calm ranting style Helps me get ideas out of there in my mind a little bit easier than having to say fuck every point three something or other seconds. Anyway, until next time, take it easy.